Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario RPG. Bet you weren't expecting me to be here when the video started. Let's take a look outside the door. What are you babbling about? Why should I marry you? What a wonderful thing to say! Wonder what he said. And Mario backs away quickly from that one. And, uh... That doesn't really... Seeing that doesn't change anything later, really, so... Thought I'd save us some time there. But there is something else to do here. I think if I go into the item shop or one of these houses... I think it's this house up here. It's after you take care of Valentina. Hey! Say, hey, we meet again! This here land is rich! It's got tons of loot, and I want it all! But hey, I'm not sweating. This device'll tell me where the treasures are hidden. The rest of them are mine! All mine! Adios, fools! Got us found a signal ring. If you equip it, it'll ring at the location of a hidden treasure. Yeah, anytime you walk onto a screen with a hidden treasure, it'll make a noise, as long as you're... as long as you've got that equipped on someone. So, Croco appears, even in my run. Is there any person's run he doesn't appear in? At least I didn't have to fight him. And that's all. Now, on to the volcano. My run's almost done. This is the last area for me. It's been fun doing this, but it's not quite over yet. Check it out. Depending on who's in your party, you get a different background for this. When I played it before, it was like a Super Mario World background. That happens if your second party slot is occupied by, I believe, Mallow or Bowser. And then Peach or Gino gets you the sky. Although, hmm, I thought I remembered a different background from this. I'm just gonna let myself blow up. Don't want to waste too much time on that. You know what, let me switch Toadstool and Peach and see if that... I mean, uh... Toadstool and Gino, and see if that changes anything. No, that's the that's the star background. I mean the uh, cloud background. For some reason, I thought it looked different, different colors or something. All right. Well, nope. That's uh, that's how it is. So yeah, I think I've showed off every little pointless thing I could really think of, pretty much. <laughs> Even I still missed some hidden treasures and stuff, but it's all good. I don't think there's anything else optional I really want to do. I just want to get through this volcano, and then I think I'll be done. Hand it off to D2 to finish up his run. Or rather, to finish off the game, in general. HP boost. Figure I should try and do some fighting, since I've been avoiding a lot of enemies up till now. Eat. That. Wow. Okay, apparently these aren't magic resistant like the ones in the, uh... In the mines. Hey! Dry bones, except different. Vomer? Okay. Eat fire orb! Take that. Hand cannon. Chain Kong. It threw an iron ball at me. Or a ball of mud, I'm not quite sure. Oh, wait a minute. There is one more thing for me to do. And I'd actually prefer to do it now, because it'll make things much easier on me. 
let's leave real quick. And go back to uh, Nimbus Land. I can just go directly back to the volcano from the map screen, too. Not that it's a big deal to get to it from here, anyway. All healed up, and let's go back up! Back up! Also, once you defeat Valentina, just walk along the edge here. You'll find a hidden path. Oh, oh, busted. What to do, what to do? I'll give you this fertilizer if you let me go, okay? Alright, cool. See ya. Awesome! The seed and the fertilizer. With that, let's go back to Rose Town to get some awesome stuff. Now this should be the last little distraction, I think. After this, I believe it should just be the volcano, and then I'll be all done. Let's see, Rose Town. Do do ba ba da 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 da. I brought your fertilizer. Egads, you know what you have there? The fertilizer comes from the Chai Wei clan, famous for its miracles, feeds gardening. You look for beyond the cliffs, even being valley failed. I've traveled around the world and waited a lifetime. Yeah, I can't read it. <laughs> Short attention span? Yes, you might say I have fertilizer on the brain. Will you give it to me? Sure. Oh, thank you, I finally have both the seed and the fertilizer. I'll try them out right away. I'll plant the seed. Then give it fertilizer. Nothing's happening. Hey, a sprout! Oh, wow! Hello! W wow This is amazing! This is unreal! This is just like winning the lottery only without the taxes! I mean, this is like falling off of an airplane without a parachute and hitting a gaggle of geese in midair to break your fall! I'll wait until our buddies at the Happy Garden is here mouth this, I'm going to be famous! You think it could use a little more fertilizer? <laughs> yeah, my sentiment's exactly, Mario. Oops, maybe not, huh? This will get me in Happy Gardener Monthly Magazine! Let's climb. Well, I couldn't read all the text, but I did my best. Got a lazy shell! Got a lazy shell! Those are both really good stuff. One's armor, one's a weapon. One of them is the ultimate weapon for Mario, and the other one is kind of an ultimate armor, though it does have its drawback. It's got ridiculous, crazy defense, but it drops your magic attack down really low. You know what, in light of that... How about the ghost metal? And, uh, give Mario the lazy shell weapon. So yeah, Mario's Ultimate Weapon and Ultimate Armor. It's really, really, really good armor. The drawback is that it lowers your magic power quite a bit. And it also drops your speed. Still, I think it's worth it to have it on someone. And with that, let's continue back to the volcano. Wow! And our fault is broken by the spring. So yeah, Peach isn't going to be dying again anytime soon. I don't think. And Mario's gonna be doing a lot more damage with his gigantic shell of doom. Maybe not as much more damage as I thought, but still. An ultimate weapon's an ultimate weapon. Awesome! More flower points are always appreciated. That's a lot of enemies. Eat lazy shell. Lucky. I'll probably not bet my experience points this time. It usually ends poorly for me. Haha. <laughs> None can withstand the wrath of Gino. Nah, I won't bet the coins either. 
Energizer is not that great of an item, but oh well. What have we in here? Coins! Yay, coins! And battle! More experience points! Take this, armored ant! Take this, weird thing! Called a... Oh, it's using Valor Up because it's the last enemy on screen. Drat. Magmus. And now it's still able to take it out fairly easily with the Lazy Shell. Lots of, like, bracers and energizers and stuff from those enemies. Awesome! Love the stars! Where are the enemies? Awesome. Peach reaches level 19. And she gets an HP boost. Pretty good one at that. Hey. Bones. Yeah, it definitely has to be magic. No blast! Magic it is then! Meet your doom! War fun! I wonder how much Peach's heal is going to do now. Her magic attack, which also determines heals, was dropped down a lot by the lazy shell, but. I also offset it a bit by equipping the ghost metal, so... I am curious... how that will turn out. How about we just heal for the heck of it and find out? Not like Peach can kill that thing anyway, she's only gonna do one damage. Group hug! 80. Not bad. Definitely not as good as before, but still not bad. No. Oh. So many bracers and energizers and stuff. I don't need them, man. Nice. Mario can, like, one-hit KO everything now. That's awesome looking. Nothing stands a chance! Hey, there's a frog coin over there, but that's... You'd have to jump just right. Hmm. Maybe I'll go for it. Gino Blast! Let's do it! Take this! Awesome. Oh, fireball caught up to me. Chained Kong. Once again, finish them with your rainbow powers. Gino's the man. I particularly love Geno World, though, just because of that 9,999 damage thing. Lazy Shell. It seems like these things always drop stat boosting items. Oh, I see. Peach's turn isn't coming around right away because of the Lazy Shell speed reduction. Yes. But that's alright. your coins? Nah. The lazy, sh lazy Shell would also be awesome, though, on someone that you were just gonna have using physical attacks all the time. Because if you're not gonna have them use magic, I don't think... I think the only drawback, then, would be the speed reduction, which is not too big a deal. Dodge the flames! Hmm. Not sure how you get up there. I'm not gonna worry about it. Wait, how do I get that coin? 
There we go. Just wasn't jumping right. It's hard to get a good sense of depth on this part on this sometimes. There we go. I had to look where the shadow was to really get a good feel for where it was. Hey, more flower points. Awesome. Another frog coin. Alright. Let's save in the barrel volcano. And the next time we will progress farther. See you then.